Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you for your indulgence in letting me ask questions in this committee. And thank you all for the, the work that you're doing. It's really heartening to see uh, so much focus now on this. And uh, Mrs. McCain, thank you for coming to the office yesterday and, and telling me about what's happened lately, particularly with the Navajo Nation. You mentioned that they have now uh, made trafficking a criminal offense. What difference will that make? How will that help uh, the situation? Well, the, it, to me, the obvious difference is that it's commu community taking action against their community and for their community. Um, the understanding that they have to act, they can't rely on others, they have to deal with this also themselves. Um, it's a, it's, in many cases, we've talked a cultural issue, et cetera, but, but the idea that, um, that tribes will criminalize this, is, it's huge. It will, I, my, I believe it's going to make a huge difference on helping to at least curtail it or be able to track it for the data that we're talking about right. here. You mentioned the, the dearth of data. We obviously need, need more. Mm -hmm. uh, what, uh, with regard to the other native tribes in Arizona, uh, do you expect some of them to follow the Navajo Nation's lead now? I do. The pressure's on. Um, they've, they've seen, you know, what, what this can do. And, and it's not for lack of willingness. I'm not, don't misunderstand me. That's not the case here. But uh, they see that another tribe has done it, and I've already heard that there's already legislative process in place in many of the other tribes right now working on the same issue. Right. You mentioned in your testimony in my office yesterday that Backpage.com is targeting specifically mm -hmm. uh, Native American girls. Mm -hmm. How do they do that? And it's all in how the, the ads are written, and uh, that's, you know, the large part of what we've been able to do is prove complicity in writing the ads, that they knowingly know how to write these ads to evade the police, but still get the message across that they're Native American or they're African American or they're underage or whatever it may be. Um, it's a, it's, it's, it, people know exactly what they're getting. Those that look for this know what they're getting on Backpage. Ms. Matthews, I missed your testimony, but are there parallels, uh, certainly, where, where you're involved in terms of what we're seeing in Arizona? Yes, absolutely. And, and also to speak to, you know, the importance of having um, a tribal code on to address sex trafficking. One, it says this is a priority um, by our tribe, you know, that our tribe is putting this as a priority. And we get to put it in our own language, with our own culture, with our own... Um, practices and it's you know it's by and for us and I think um, and it's not that you know that tribes haven't wanted it but they haven't I think um, sex trafficking has really gained more attention and tribes are starting to become more aware that it is impacting the women in our communities and it doesn't just happen in the urban areas it is happening in our tribal communities well, well thank you all again for what you do and uh, especially uh, Mrs. McCain, what you've done in Arizona, I, I've seen it. Uh, I mentioned to you that my wife attended one of the functions that you had and the, the, uh, the ability that you have to bring awareness to this and uh, to make people focus on it um, has been really helpful and heartening. So thank you for thank what you. you're doing. Thank you.